Mixed youth were victims of human trafficking and girls as young as 10 years old had been forced into sex trade. Many children have no way out because their traffickers use physical force and intimidation to keep them from seeking help. So how has your organization used staff trainings, you mentioned in your written testimony, and leveraged the partnerships with local organizations to help identify and serve victims of trafficking? And how can Congress support these efforts to protect children and youth from trafficking and exploitation? Thank you. Uh, I, I want to say that youth care was actually started to really address the issue of sexual exploitation in Seattle. And so we have always been very uh, aware of the issue in our community. Currently, we run a program called the Bridge Continuum, which is exactly what you described as a multidisciplinary, multi-agency intervention strategy to help young people who have been trafficked through street outreach, through specially trained advocates, and through partnerships with trauma-informed care therapists, substance abuse specialists, workforce uh, development specialists, we've been able to create a wraparound service model for these young people that is not just a standalone model. It's a model that has lived inside of our runaway and homeless youth programs for 40 years, and we've actually expanded that in our community and around the state of Washington in replicating that model in other communities. So I think that it's important for folks to understand that the runaway and homeless youth programs, basic centers, outreach, and transitional living